Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. <clears throat> I am from Corey Sigri, the Drunk Hunter Old Man. Welcome back to the Infected. Sigri plays. We're in season three, and uh, we are headed over to the caves. It's going to be that kind of cave kind of day where we're pretty much going to spend the just see a Vambi. He kind of looked like Billy from. Uh... Oh, there's a boar there. So he kind of looked like Billy from. Uh... Focus Pocus. Not gonna lie. It's my first thought when I saw him. I don't know if you guys like that movie, but that's uh it's like one of the beautiful assistants' favorite films, so we watch it at least once every Halloween season. We each have a couple of those for each holiday. We kinda watch. Silly traditions, you know, movies you can watch any time of the year, but we save them for the time where interesting anyways thank you guys for all the comments last time we were down in the cave just talking about personal life stuff and uh trying to pass the time and have fun and uh not get too scared by any of the scorpions because man they're terrifying even though i've been in been in vr and i fought zombies and gotten jumped and all sorts of stuff scorpions are still like the scariest thing in any video game ever because they're super hard to see you don't know where they're coming from and how embarrassing would it be, get, be to survive bear attacks and wolf attacks only to get killed by a scorpion? That'd be, uh, I'd feel pretty silly. Oh, god damn it. You're hard to see where the hell is he. There we go. Right, Dick. Okay. Cool. We slayed him. He did claim six points of our health. Holy crap! Uh, it was probably only five. I was probably down one because we went up one just a few minutes ago. There's a lot of mushrooms down here. I'm gonna harvest some of those. Why? Just cause you know. Yeah, it's not like we're ever gonna, you know, fill up a, fill up too much space on mushrooms. I would like to see more things to do with them. Oh, dude, really? Another scorpion, like right away. Yeah. That, my friend, is a uh, horse. Horse crap. That's... Yeah, that was uh dude, two in a row, huh? Health's down to ninety-nine. It's alright. It's not as easy to get uh, health cranked up. Like it used to be super easy for those of you who play this game now, who didn't play it back before updates and stuff. It was literally every stew meat. And every fruit salad you ate, you went up one in your overall. So it was like pretty easy to get to 200 and 200 on your stamina and health. Now it's not. It's like pretty difficult. You gotta eat a lot of food to get there. I mean, I'm like 80, it's like episode 83 or something. I'm at 107 health. That said, I did lose 5 health rate in the beginning because I died from a bear attack early on. That was an exciting episode. I have not jumped out of a chair like that in a minute. It was fun. I wonder if uh, getting scared in VR will affect my, my getting scared in regular video games or not. It'll up my tolerance. Anyways, I don't know if I talked about the show we actually had with comics from Vermont, Chicago, and New Hampshire. That was awesome. Uh, MC Lightsey flew all the way out, whose name I was pronouncing wrong for the entire week, so I do apologize to him, but, yeah, came out, and, uh, he flew out from Chicago to Vermont, uh, to perform at a show I hosted, which is pretty crazy, considering it's not a small flight, it's kind of, it's not across the country, but it is, I mean... <laughs> 
it's like flying from the center of the country to one of the north to the northeast most point of the country not actually the north no, no, most northeast point but you know up here and uh yeah he, he drew he flew on a little uh puddle jumper all the way from chicago to rutland vermont pretty incredible and then uh performed an awesome set he had a, we had a great time we also had matt vita and, uh, uh, Boris Hyken, this was two weeks ago, straight-up comedy show, and now I am working on getting together the, as, uh, as DC Sunshine put it, uh, a random show, a mix of her, some of her favorite stuff, and yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing with the next one, I thought I saw a scorpion, uh, me, the drunk magician, will be uh, <laughs> hosting a show of comedy, burlesque, and hypnotism, which does sound like the most random show ever, and will be. It's going to be awesome. I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's going to be sweet to see uh, Katniss live again. She's great. One of the most beautiful uh, body positive uh, burlesque performers ever and does some really cool stuff so not afraid to get her uh, well her anything dirty so she does a lot of fun stuff with uh, uh, fruit <laughs> and food all sorts of stuff that I would not be willing to do during my shows but bless her because she is phenomenally entertaining uh, GW Foley will be there, and of course my buddy Pierre Vachon does a uh, adult hypnotist gig, as well as all the other random stuff that Pierre does. He's uh, a very talented man. Actually, got out on his uh, last leg of he's going to be doing, or at least looks like it. So don't quote me. Appears to me and my other comic friends that he's getting ready to do his last uh, his last professional wrestling run, which is pretty cool. I'm hopefully going to have the opportunity to see him live. As I uh, I definitely enjoy wrestling. That's for sure. Grab that one on the way out. Probably put me overweight. Huh? Yep. Nice, that did it. Get me out to the cart. Nice. Than that. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, just a couple more. But yeah, very excited for all the live stuff. I have a great time with it. I'm glad we're getting to do that again and that things are starting to calm down a little bit and uh, people are more receptive to going out and seeing live entertainment because it's been a rough couple of years only doing a show here and a show there it's finally nice to start having like I don't know something to look forward to monthly live not that I don't look forward to my uh, my live stream show every Wednesdays the drunken under quarantine show is on 
my main channel and also Facebook and Rumble at 8. Which, I'm thinking about bringing this channel over to Rumble here soon too. Seems like the main issues with alt tech platforms right now is that they don't have enough entertainment of other types. It's all just free speech oriented political commentary, which is not really what I do, but I do anticipate a time where I will no longer be. Probably not this channel, but my main channel. And I imagine this one's going to get yeeted if my main one does so. To be honest, this channel kind of exists so I have a place where people can find just my gaming content because. It, I don't know if everyone's going to like all the other stuff, too. And it kind of separates it and gives people the opportunity to either follow both or one or neither. That's totally your deal. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I do have a whole hell of a lot of fun producing videos like this. And I uh, enjoy the interaction, talking to you guys, hanging out, chilling. Oh, that thing scared me. I thought it was a Vammy when it came around the corner. Oh, no. Nice. Okay. Oh, wow. That was a scorpion. I like that we get a meat from them, that's nice, but I feel like this all this meat's gonna go bad by the time I get back there anyways. I put a drying rack out there. Kinda growing into this uh phallically shaped stalagmite. Or the slag tight. I don't know. I'm not good with that stuff. Nice. <laughs> ah. Okay, that scared me. Legitimately, I got startled there. Got me, man. <laughs> it got me again. Oh, uh, that was brutal. <laughs> oh, nothing like being scared sitting in front of a computer. That's wild. Uh, it got me good. It got me good this time. Okay, nice. We got a full crate. Some 40 there. Six. Forty-six. Okay, we're gonna go in one more time. Let's do it. Why not? We're spend an episode in the cave. Let's spend an episode in the cave, right? But yeah, the uh, show's gonna be awesome. It's February twelfth, and then. I am going to be going on vacation in March. I don't know what that's going to mean. It might mean I actually am on vacation and take a week off from the channels. I think I'll probably pre-record a couple things and put them up throughout the week just to, I don't know, keep some type of momentum that I've been building going. I don't know if that'll work, but there'll be an announcement the week or two beforehand and all that stuff. I won't just bail. I feel like I have been doing a light amount of uh, gameplay videos lately, and I apologize. It's because I have been spending a good chunk of that time where I would normally produce this content and uh, working on figuring out the whole recording my VR experiences. And uh, I really want to get some VR gameplay video up. It's, it's super fun and engaging. And I have a great time doing it, and I figured it would be nice to share with other people. This man. It's crazy how fun it is just to do simple things in VR sometimes. Like reloading a shotgun. 
real life. Not all that much fun. I mean, it's fun because it means you're out usually shooting skeet. And that's cool. But like, I don't know. Something about it in VR is just like it feels so rewarding. And natural. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's fun, but it's weird. You know, we got the Oculus Quest 2. They just announced the uh, new one coming out. I think it's going to be called the Oculus Quest 3 or the Oculus Pro or the Meta Pro. I don't know yet. I'm trying to look at some articles, but none of them seem to have all the information I want, so I'm kind of waiting for somebody to consolidate it because I don't know. Uh, gaming news is really boring and it's usually really tech heavy. That's not necessarily what I care about. What I really want to know is like when it comes out, what the price point is, and what is the difference from Quest 2. Because we want to buy another Quest 2, but we don't want to. Uh, I don't want it to be like a waste of uh, a waste of money if the new one is the same price or even just a hundred bucks more but four times better I'd rather wait but if it's not going to be that much better then you can just buy one now because that way the beautiful assistant and I could actually play together as opposed to having games that we both play but we play separately yeah I gotta do a, a video on her game and uh, she's really really into uh, real VR fishing right now Thought that might make some uh, might make some fun content. Let's see, I like fishing. I like VR. <laughs> nice, pretty smooth haulback. here and I do believe that is where we're gonna leave this one thank you guys for joining me just a short cave run day I hope you guys enjoyed it I sure had fun well as much fun as you can have just you know camping in a cave oh I missed the jump where's Wolfie McWolferstein Wolfie I guess it should be Wolfenstein, huh? Oh, there he is. Dude. Yeah, how about that? How do you like me now? Now that I shot your face. Yeah, that's right. That's how this jump magician does. That looks pretty good from over here. Yeah, we definitely need to do some of those, uh, get some of those back walls over here filled in with, uh, or replaced with glass so it's a little more open. I think that would help greatly. Uh, see if I can... That's pretty much all I got on this one. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on this beautiful little cave run we had. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, Drunk Magician out. Cheers.